What's up guys, you are watching Ceylon Rank in YouTube channel and this is our third video of our data science three days challenge. Okay, uh, here we are learning uh, uh, all the machine learning concepts and also we are going to build the end-to-end -end project uh, using uh, what we called uh, Python libraries and we are going to uh, uh, build up an uh, end-to-end project here. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this video, this will be a short video. What I want to explain you here is how to uh, import a data set and uh, get that data set to our Jupyter notebook. Okay, now uh, uh, why why do we want a data set? Because uh, guys, uh, we are dealing with the uh, data science project. The okay, data science project means it is uh, to build up the model uh, uh, to uh, do the prediction. We have to have the data. Okay. So uh, there are some websites which the uh, uh, data is available. That means they have uh, imported, uh, they have exported those ready-made data to some, some sort of websites. One of those famous website is Kaggle.com. Okay, uh, many of data science students are using that Kaggle.com. Okay, and there are uh, other websites as well, but uh, this Kaggle.com is uh, very much popular in the data science field. Okay, now, uh, 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 first, we will get uh, get to this uh, Kaggle.com and uh, import some data. Okay, uh, what I want, uh, I have already explained uh, earlier in the video about the regression model. I told that by using a linear regression model, we can uh, predict the uh, uh, real estate uh, house prices. Okay, uh, so we want to have some uh, house price data. Okay, uh, uh, one of those famous data set was is uh, uh, Bangalore house price data because by many of data science students are using that data set. So I also uh, search that data set. So you can search that data sets in uh, uh, this Kaggle uh, uh, .com website also. Or, and that, that is a famous uh, data set because uh, uh, therefore it will be available uh, when you just type in the Google as well. If you just write in the Google Bangalore, Bangalore house price data, yeah, it will be coming because I have already searched that one. Therefore, it will be recommended here. Uh, then uh, this one, this uh, you know, the, this is our website, uh, the Kaggle.com. Okay, uh, this is a famous website, and there are some competitions uh, in the data science field in this website. Okay, Bangalore house price data. Okay, uh, that is the thing we want to take. Okay, uh, so I will just click this one. Okay, you can go to that website and also take, but uh, now since it is available there, it will be directly going. Okay, then uh, uh, now uh, several guys have uh, taken this data sets and uh, they have uh, put their uh, code also here. Okay, you can get the code from here, but don't do like that way because uh, this ready-made code is uh, in vain for us. Okay, because we are going to, uh, do our pro project uh, uh, from the starting onwards. Okay, so we are not going to see about other people's uh, code and do the things. Okay, we want to understand how do we build this thing from the scratch. Uh, so what you want only this data set. Okay, this is in the CSV format. CSV means spreadsheet. Okay, like the uh, way Excel. Okay, there are there are some similarities between CSV files and Excel, but there are some differences so we'll later discuss about what are the different uh, file formats okay and here you can uh, download this one okay this is 938 uh, kilobytes a very small data set okay uh, so you can see uh, the uh, this this is the data set okay and there are nine columns okay nine columns okay now uh, it will be uh, download in here okay I have already downloaded and I have removed that one. Okay, now uh, you can uh, uh, go to your download field. Okay, and uh, take this one and uh, cut it and uh, I will put it to my desktop uh, in order to access it easily. But uh, uh, I will show you something uh, right now. It is available in my desktop, but uh, uh, because my uh, the C drive is full uh, filled, I have uh, uh, did some arrangements here because I, even I put this thing in the desktop, it is not my C drive. Okay. Uh, 
now uh, what you want to uh, do you want to go and get your jupyter notebook i have already explained how to uh, uh, get the download and install the jupyter notebook using anaconda okay if you uh, if you are not familiar with uh, how, and if you are not aware of that one okay you can just use the google call app okay there you are getting the online uh, cloud uh, version of this anaconda uh, jupyter notebook okay uh all those two videos are available in one of my youtube channel okay you can go there and check okay and if you are uh, feeling difficulty of uh, uh, installing anaconda uh, or the jupiter you can put the comment below okay then i will uh, do a separate video for that one as well but uh, since this is uh, not related to uh, installing ides i will directly uh, uh open this uh, thing now open this uh, uh jupyter notebook okay then it will be uh, loading our uh, uh, from this one to the our jupyter notebook okay there what you want to do you can you can start here new and here python 3 okay like that then uh, you're opening your jupyter notebook there are what you want to do now uh, first of all you want to find out uh, from this jupyter notebook where is the default location okay now uh, from this jupyter notebook you can import uh, uh, the data set okay there are two ways one thing is you can uh, put it uh, uh, put your data set in wherever uh, you can and you have to put uh, you have to uh, tell the path to access that data set. You, you have to tell the path to access that data set. It will be quite difficult. And there is uh, another one. You, you, uh, can, uh, you can just give a command and access the data set. But if, if it has to be in the default location, okay, how do we find out the default location? Uh, that will be easy. You can just uh, write the present work directory command. That means PWD. OK, if you. Uh, write the pwd and run this one and this is the, the uh, button to run that one and it will be showing what is the default location that means it is c users and azus okay uh, in my c drive uh, users and azus it will be available so i will be going there okay i will first uh, take my data set okay i will uh, first take my data set now this is in the desktop i will cut this one and i will go uh, to the location where uh, the default location it is c and uh, c drive it has been mentioned in the users and also in the asus uh, and now you can uh, paste wherever your data set is now it will be coming here now it is uh, bangalore house data csv now what you want to do you just come to your uh, jupyter notebook okay uh, you just come to the what we call your notebook here uh, and uh, they are what you want to do you want to uh, now uh, to re read the data sets you want to have uh, uh, what we call the uh, one libraries of python now uh, this is a spreadsheet you 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 will be asking why pandas is needed for this one because uh, to do the pre-processing techniques, we want to have this pandas library. It will be easy. I will be tell. Uh, I, I will be explaining about more about pandas in the second video. Now here only I will be explaining how to uh, import this uh, data set. So you just write the uh, the import statement import uh, pandas. Okay, pandas, and uh, you have to always use this pandas library. So we will. Put the easy name for this one pandas as pd that means wherever you are typing pd means you are uh, 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 referring referencing it as the uh, pandas okay then uh, uh, what you want to do then uh, you uh, type here uh, the df df means the data frame object okay data frame object and uh, that it will be equals to uh the pd dot pd means your pandas pd dot now you're going to read this one read okay and put underscore what, what is the, your uh, uh, data set it is a csv format uh, then put like csv and put a bracket now uh, there you have to go to your location okay location and 
yeah, what is that uh, data set? Okay, data set is available in C uh, uh, and the users. And what you know is, is Asus and uh, get the name of the data set. You just uh, take it as an uh, copy here. Okay. Uh, the location you want to copy the location here it will be this is the name of the file copy this one properties and copy this one because i'm explaining everything because i think uh, uh, many of you are very much uh, new to this field because i don't want to uh, have any uh, confusion here that's why i am uh, always telling everything from the beginning now here uh, put the first uh, uh, colon uh, this what we call quotation mark here the quotation mark then here paste your data set okay paste your data set okay right now uh, it will be okay now after that put df okay df and you have to run the uh, thing okay you are running the thing okay then uh, after that it will uh, be coming to this one because yes uh, you are getting uh, the data set. In this way, you can uh, uh, get the data, data set uh, to your Jupyter. And after that, we'll see how do you do the pre-processing in the next video. Okay, I think uh, I have uh, explained this thing in a very simplest way. I think everybody uh, understood that one. Okay, thank you very much. We'll meet in the next video.